Today I'll be going over our software, PTZ Joy. I will be going over some of the features that it has to offer while also explaining to you why our software will make your life easier. So to start, I'm just gonna go over my setup here. On the bottom right, you can see a view of me and so the PTZ Optics camera. Uh, on the top right is a view of my desk with a huddle cam camera and to the left of that is also another view of my desk with the camera that we'll be controlling today, which is a Panasonic camera. On my desk, you can see here, I have a USB joystick. I have a trackball mouse. I have a, uh, another USB joystick. I have a wireless mouse and I have my Android cell phone. And then on the left of the screen, you can see I have a view of the outside of our office, uh, which is uh, with a Canon camera. On the right of that is another view of the outside of our office with another camera that we'll be controlling today, which is a Sony camera. Uh, and that's, that's that. So to start with the software, PTZ Joy uh, is a PTZ camera management software. It works with Visco, with IP, and with UVC, with all those protocols, and with any camera in any of those protocols. And that's something I kind of want to stress here, is that it works with all broadcasting cameras. Uh, it also works with uh, live production systems such as TriCaster, VMix, and Livestream. Uh, with all of those systems, work really well. You can use our software as a tall, narrow uh, mode, or you can use it in a short uh, and wide mode. Uh, and this mode specifically, actually, we designed for um, uh, live production systems like TriCaster and VMix and all those so that the, it fits and blends really well with them and doesn't get in the way of what you're doing. Really convenient and works really well. So to get started, there's multiple different ways that you can control your cameras with our software. The first way is with our virtual joystick. You can see I'm just going to move left and right and up and down. Or you can use a USB joystick, which is a really big deal because this allows you to add a precise camera management to your system using any USB joystick. And I'm, when I say any USB joystick, I really mean do any USB joystick, which you, I mean, you could use a wireless joystick. You can use a Bluetooth joystick. You can use uh, just a hardwired USB joystick like this. You can use a gaming controller like an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller. You can use a gaming joystick. You can use really any kind of joystick. And moreover, you can also have multiple joysticks connected to your computer, which you can then switch between at very quickly and effortlessly. So I'm just going to show you here. I got this first one, this gray one selected. I'm going to move the camera left and right on the top. And then on, I'm going to select the black one here. Also going to move it left and right. Very convenient, very easy. And even more importantly, you can edit all of the buttons uh, and the button schemes on each joystick and have multiple profiles for each joystick. And it's really convenient, really easy to use. You can have your joysticks do anything with any of the buttons. Really easy, really nice. Uh, you can also have, uh, you can also use your keyboard hotkeys to control the camera. You can use uh, your mouse, which is with what we call PTZ Ball. Uh, or you can use our web control remote or web uh, web remote. So you can use any device from anywhere in the world that any device that has a browser. So you can see here I have on my on my Android cell phone I have uh, the web remote open up opened up. Uh, I'm just going to move the camera left, up, right, down, and I'm going to stop it. And it's really easy. Any device that can ha that has access to a browser, so you can use a tablet, a cell phone, a laptop, anything, whatever you want, anywhere in the world. Uh, it's really convenient and really easy to use. So that's that. That's our controls. So now I'm going to move on to the preset management. Uh, you can have up to 510 internal and external presets on uh, in our software. Um, you can also have multiple cameras connected to the software and connect to your computer, and you can manage each of those cameras individually. Each camera can have up to 510 internal presets by itself. Um, so you may have also noticed uh, these little pictures here that I have. Uh, these pictures are actually our visualettes. So essentially you can assign a background or a picture to a preset, which makes it easier to manage those presets. So you can just see here, I'm going to click through all these presets that I have here. They're, they're just pictures. It makes it so much easier to manage. You don't have to remember a name or a number or anything. You just click the picture. Um, and the same thing goes for cameras. You can have uh, multiple visualettes per camera, and you can also have a visualette for each camera. So you see here, I have the two cameras that we're controlling here. I have the, <clears throat> the visualettes, the pictures for each camera. It's really convenient. Now. Earlier on in the video, you may have noticed that I was using a uh, transparent little UI here that I was moving around on the top of the screen. Uh, that is our revolutionary uh, and industry-changing preset visualizer. I'm just going to move it over here and show you what it is. Preset visualizer essentially gives you a dynamic visual representation of your presets and of your cameras. And you can see here all these blue squares, they represent presets. So I'm just going to click these presets and the camera's gonna go to them. You can move them around, you can customize it however you want, you can do whatever you want, you can change the background if you want, uh, and, and you can also have multiple cameras connected to it like this, and each camera has its own customized setup that you set up yourself. 
Uh, and you can see I'm just gonna move these around, click them, move the camera to whatever I want. It's really easy to use and really convenient. And the big thing is that you can also use this with like TriCaster or with vMix or something, and you can layer it over those systems and use them together. And the nice thing is, is that because this is transparent and so low profile, profile, it doesn't get in the way. And you can use it any way you want and with multiple cameras and whatever you want to do. So that was, that was a lot, I know. Um, so what exactly is Preset Visualizer? Uh, let's back up for a moment here. I'm just going to move this out of the way because you don't even need the main software to use Preset Visualizer. Um, Preset Visualizer is a separate control panel that gives you a visual representation of your presets and of your cameras. Uh, you can use it uh, however you want. You can customize these buttons. You can move them around. You can do whatever you want. Uh, you can have a live or a static background. You can have a transparent or a live or a static background. Uh, you can have multiple cameras, each one with their own set of presets. Uh, it's really convenient. And the best part about this is, is that this can be used in so many different scenarios. So I just made a couple here. We have, obviously we have mine here. Uh, we also have, you can use it in a political setting if you want, in a conference setting. You can use it in a uh, stadium, like a sports stadium. You can use it in a, an actual conference se setting. And you can even use it in a church if you wanted to. I mean, you can do so many different things with this, with this program. It's incredible. And you can even control your cameras from the software, from, from Preset Visualizer directly with zoom, zoom out, all that stuff, all this crazy stuff. You can manage the cameras. I mean, it's, it's great. It's really a really powerful tool. So I'm just going to go back to the software now. So that was Preset Visualizer. Now we're going to move on to some of the tools that we have to offer. Uh, so we have uh, quite a few uh, automation tools with the software. So the first one is our task scheduler, which essentially allows you to send and to broadcast commands to multiple cameras simultaneously at a given time that you set. And you can, you can, like I said, have multiple cameras doing the same thing, different things, whatever you want to do at the same time at any time, and just schedule tasks. Really simple, really nice to use. Um, then the next thing is we have auto pan. So you can pan your camera left and right automatically on a given interval. Preset scan goes through all your presets again on a given interval. You have exposure settings here. You have the on-screen display, which you can edit. And you can see on the top here, I just opened the camera's internal menu, which I'm controlling from the software. Uh, and then you also have some extra camera specific features such indoor, outdoor settings, mirror flip, all these things. Really convenient to have. Now the next camera automation tool is a camera tracer, which allows you to essentially record your joystick movements with a camera and play them back whenever you want. So this is really nice if you're tired of making the same camera movements over and over again, you can just record it with your joystick real quick, save it, and then play it back whenever. Really nice, really convenient, easy to use. And then we have our timeline task manager, which essentially allows you to create a timeline of tasks for your camera to complete or your cameras to complete. And I'm just gonna play the one that I have here. It's just moving the camera up, down, left, right. Uh, it's really convenient, really easy to use, and you can use it for multiple cameras. You can loop it, do whatever you want. Really convenient, nice, nice tool. So that's that, that's the automation stuff. Now the last thing I'm gonna talk about is our uh, camera control unit. I'm actually going to show you the big one, which is the Canon uh, CCU. So I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna open this up, move this over here. And you can see this is very extensive. I mean, we, have, we offer so many tools, so many of the same things that uh, the big professional CCUs offer. You can use, expo you have some exposure settings, some more specific exposure settings. You have color matrix, skin detail level, white balance, all these really important tools and really fine details, they're all here and you can use them if you need them. And it's really convenient and really easy to use. And it's in a software, so it's nice and compact. So that's that. Um, that is actually our software in a nutshell. I've covered everything I wanted to cover. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at We would be happy to answer any of your questions.